Hello IGN, my name is Jose Otero and I'm here with Greg Moore from Capcom. And we Hello. are looking at Double May Cry for the special edition. There we go. So tell us a little bit what we're seeing. Obviously so, Virgil. In yes. The we are playing uh, Bloody Palace mode, which you unlock after you beat the game once. Uh, and we are playing as Virgil, as you said. He's one of three new playable characters that we've <laughs> added for special edition. Um, as you can see, he's very fast, he's very thorough, he can teleport. Uh, he's pretty much all around a badass. And, um, as Virgil's known to as be. As he's known right? to be. Yeah, he's absolutely. a fan favorite, I think. So one of the things that you uh, folks may not be picking, on right picking up right away is that there is an additional meter with Virgil. Uh, at the at the top of the screen, you want to talk a little about that? Yeah, the concentration. so that's, that's the concentration yeah. gauge. Uh, it's the blue thing in the upper left. Right now, I have a full gauge, so you'll see my attacks uh, a little more powerful. They have a little more range. You see, he has little trail Virgil trails following him when he moves around, mm -hmm. uh, and that uh, is a reward you get for fighting thoroughly. If you if you're near the enemies and you're not moving around uh, too much and you're not taking hits. Uh, and you're basically fighting the way Virgil is supposed to fight. Uh, that gauge goes up. As you can see, I'm uh, getting hit a little bit and uh, not being super efficient, so I've lost some meter. But if I, if I so it's rewarding patience. It's rewarding, rewarding you kind of fitting the being, role that the way yeah, Virgil sort of patient and calm and collected. Is. Now I have a level yeah. three again. Now uh, the cool thing is it has a, a super move of sorts. Once you get to that level three concentration, <laughs> you activate your devil trigger. You hit a couple buttons and. Uh, you do that move I just did. Uh, it's super powerful. Got it. But obviously you have to uh, you have to earn it. So Virgil also uses two swords, right? He's using the he Yamato, has, which we so has, know for him. He has the Yamato sword, which uh, is sort of his trademark uh, Japanese sword. Mm -hmm. Do stuff like that. Um, he's got the Force Edge, which is uh, his father's sword. Uh, if you don't know, Dante is, and Virgil are twin brothers, and uh, the father is a legendary demon named Sparta. Uh, so this was his sword, and you can mm -hmm. see uh, it's it's a little more similar to the the fighting style Dante employs with his sword, uh, but um, there are some differences. Yep. And um, there are uh, so sort of also with Virgil, we have for the first time. Uh, I think this was introduced in DMC the ability to use sort of a projectile to teleport. You know, sword teleporting, as it were. Yes, right? uh, this was uh, a mechanic introduced in DMC Devil May Cry. So mm -hmm. uh, you see, instead of guns like Dante, he has these summon swords. Yeah, um, and you can do a variety of things with them. One thing you can do though is you can stick them in an enemy. I'm not sure if it'll work on these guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then if you hit a uh, circle, you teleport right to them. So it's a it's an extremely quick way to close the gap. You can close the gap with an enemy quicker than any other playable character. Mm. And you can use it to pretty much stay o airborne if you're if you're skillful. Nice. Very cool stuff. You mentioned some more playable characters. Uh, so who else is joining the fight this time? So we have uh, Trish, who uh, was first introduced uh, in the very first cutscene in Devil May Cry 1. And uh, she fights with uh, a giant sword and uh, her fists and feet, mm -hmm. uh, as well as pistols. And then there's Lady, who uh, was introduced in Devil May Cry 3, but is actually playable for the first time ever in this game. And she's very uh, firearm-focused. Uh, she's got a rocket launcher, shotgun, pistols, uh, and a grappling hook. Nice. So there's a lot of variety uh, in the characters. They each play very distinctly. Um, and I players can also... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, it's pretty much endless replay value. Yeah, and players can also use them in a campaign. So, for example, Lady yes. and Trish will play uh, sort of the Dante uh, yeah, Nero so sort of combo. So in the original game, Nero Nero would play through half the game, and then you switch to Dante play through the second half. That's how it is with uh, Lady and Trish. Uh, Lady covers Nero's missions, and Dante covers, or I'm sorry, and Trish covers Dante le levels. It's very hard to play and talk. Yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> and, and then uh, Virgil sort of has his own campaign. Virgil can play through, yeah, he can play through the entire campaign. Um, Thanks in part to the fact that uh, he can use these swords to teleport and traverse like Nero. Uh, he's just a very versatile character all around. Nice, nice. Well, you're doing an awesome job playing and talking at the same time, but I think we should <laughs> relieve you of this stress. Uh, thank you very much. And for more Devil May Cry 4 special, different, special edition coverage, make sure you keep it right here at IGN. We can do the after one more time if you want. Yeah, yeah. All right. Dude, you held it down. Like, that's <laughs> really good. Go ahead. Yeah. Clearly, you played on the strings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Just one more time? Cool.
All right, so there's your look at Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. And for more coverage, make sure you keep it right here at IGN.